Digital Business Minute with Lily Lopez presented by the South Florida Hispanic Chamber of Commerce. Today we are with Senator Ana Maria Rodriguez. Dear friend yes. of at least 15 or 20 years. <laughs> it's been a long, long time. Long time, but he, we are in Tallahassee and uh, legislative session and we've been talking about everything that's taking place and all the bills. And you were one of those active centers. So tell me a little bit about what's going on yes, here in Tallahassee. Yes, well, Lily, first of all, thank you for coming by my office. Um, it's always a pleasure to see you and our uh, leadership from the South Florida Hispanic Chamber. Um, it is a busy legislative session. Um, I currently have 67 bills, which is quite a lot. It's I think I'm one Probably of the, the most, highest, the highest. second highest uh, bill carrier in the Senate. Mm -hmm. Uh, we have also a lot of appropriations requests, uh, obviously funding for mm -hmm. Argentina, you know, for South Florida, of course. which is super important. We always try to fight to get our fair share of funding. We are a donor county, so we want to make sure we get uh, what we mm -hmm. need back. Um, but I, in terms of priorities, I would like to think that, you know, because of the Surfside tragedy, a lot of the condominium mm -hmm. reforms uh -huh. are really of utmost importance. Yes, and absolutely. I'll just highlight a couple of those, if, if that's okay. Um, we want to uh, create a, an education program for people who are volunteer board members of condos. So instead of just mm -hmm. signing an affidavit saying that right. you read the condo docs, we want people to have at least some minimum, you know, understanding, understanding of, what, knowledge. of what that's of going to entail. Of course. The other bill that I filed um, will instruct DBPR to create a database of all the condominiums in the state of mm -hmm. Florida who their board members are, who their management company is, if there's any, um, you know, obviously the approved annual budget and that sort of thing. That's all in exactly. one central repository. And then the last bill, um, which was brought to me by uh, former state representative Julio Robaina and our state attorney, Catherine Fernandez Rondo, would create a, um, a condo fraud task force. And so it would give the state attorney's office more uh, ability to prosecute cases where there's condo fraud, which we've seen a which lot of in South Florida. Oh, yeah, of course. Um, but with that, I know you know you re represent the chamber. Um, our, our legislature is a very business-friendly legislature. Yes, we want to, our businesses to thrive. We want our businesses to, to be exactly. successful. And so we are constantly looking at passing legislation that will help our businesses continue to be successful mm -hmm. and particularly as it relates to COVID which uh, you know is always a hot topic um, we passed uh, legislation last session which is COVID COVID liability protection for businesses that's important so people Very cannot sue right. you, so you for going into your business and saying that they got that COVID. is so important Ana Maria yes thank you so much for sharing that with the members yes yes, yes. so, so I just would get that question to, yeah yeah and then yeah. the other thing which I think would be important to your membership is the reduction of the business rent tax. As you know, uh, the, United, the, the United States, Florida is the only state that still charges a business rent tax. So when you rent uh, a building or a restaurant, right, whatever, right. you have to pay taxes yes, on that. Yes. And so we lowered it last session to 2%. It was, oh, it was five, right? It was in like the five range. The five right? range, okay. So now it's, down, now it's down to 2%. Okay. So if you're obviously a small business is, owner, yes, and, you, attention to this. and you rent a business, um, your, your business your rent tax will go to, has to right. right, it's going down to 2% once the unemployment compensation fund is replenished. Um, so that's um, that's good news. And uh, with and, that, you know, and, and, you, and you were saying also that you yeah. we represent Homestead uh, Naples, is it called your county? And well, my district actually is just West? No, no, what is yeah, it? it goes it's Monroe County, Monroe county? and Western Dade County. Okay, so that's Monroe it. County and Western yeah. County. Yes. But it's a, it's a big district. It is big. It so is I really big. want to congratulate Thank you, you. Maria, because Thank you. you're always so welcoming, so of warm, course. and happy to and, have you here, and working so hard. We have to for 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 the citizens of, of, of your not only your your constituents because I know for a fact that you work. For all, yes. all of the South Florida community. Thank so you. So thank you, thank you so much thank for being so here. Thank you so much, and I'm busy with Lily Lopez, and we'll yes. see you all next week at the same time.